Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know me, I am Christine of Side Street Market and tonight I am bringing you a haul video. This is not just any haul video. It was going to be a mini haul video, but then I decided to make this an epic haul video because this haul is from when I went to the flea market with my friend Lori, Blue Flamingo Mercantile. We did a live sale together if you check my channel. We and I think I just said that, for Halloween, we dressed up and went flea market shopping. And I filled my trunk, and this was the best haul I've ever had. So I've decided, I was going to split the boxes up, but I have decided that tonight I am going to show you everything I got because I may not be doing a line next week for Thanksgiving, so you're going to get double the vintage. So welcome, guys. For those of you hopping on, hello, Michelle and Diana. And Carrie and Beth, welcome guys. So good to have you here. I'm trying standing tonight to see how that works, and I'm trying my cell phone to test that out. So, and I feel like my lights are really, really bright. Am I fuzzy for you guys? I look fuzzy on my iPad. Hey mom, hey dad, welcome you to Pope. So much just be my iPad. Oh Michelle, that's awesome, you hit 100 subscribers, I didn't see that, and Beth, Carolina Princess Sweet Treats and Pretties Guys is having her first solo live sale. I just heard it on the rumor mill. So Beth, make sure you make notes about that below, make sure you guys just subscribe to her channel. Michelle Newton's Cupboard has a channel as well. Diana Little Vintage Me 64 has a channel. And who else am I missing that has channels on here? Carrie Casey ATX. She has an Instagram. Christy Jessica. She has an Instagram. So you guys feel free to put all your info below. I'm so excited to hang out with you guys tonight. I really missed you last week. Hey, Nathaniel. Welcome. Thanks, Mom. She likes my shirt. Driving and watching, Christy. <laughs> Please be careful. <laughs> So I do want to say just some updates, guys, while we let people come on. Um, I have decided not to do a live sale in December. I'm having new furniture delivered to my house. I'm getting a new couch. I'm getting a new dining room cupboard thing. So I have a lot of, like, home interior stuff to do in December. So I decided, and, of course, the night I was going to have my live sale is when they're delivering my couch with a 13-hour window. So <laughs> I'm just going to take a little break in December. So... That brings me to the items I'm showing tonight. A lot of this stuff I'm starting to stock up for future live sales. So unless I say it's going to be on my Etsy, these items are not available for purchase tonight. I need to start kind of hoarding. We did spike 10,000 cases in Florida this week. So I also am not able to go out for a little bit and thrift until the numbers go way back down. So I'm just kind of hoarding the goodness for you guys for come January. So let's see. What does it say in the comments? Okay. Beth is having her... First solo live sale Tuesday, November 24th at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Perfect. Carrie's Instagram is Southern Fried Vintage. Carrie, I was just talking about your uh, mom, Lori, and that all this stuff is what I got when I went uh, Halloween shopping with her. <laughs> I know. It's Nate, but I figured I'd say Nathaniel. I know, Carrie, that's why um, I decided, like, I have about five or six hauls worth of stuff I can show you guys, so I am not thrifting probably from now until December when things go back down. So you guys may see me a little less on here. I'm sorry if I'm just rambling. If you're watching this afterwards, please feel free to fast forward. I'm just letting folks start to come on and see what's going on. All right. Well, I know y'all want to see the good stuff, so let's just go ahead and dive right in. This first item, Beth, I am so excited. I found my first skunk. Check her out, all sorts of sassy. The only thing she has is she's just got two little chips on her back that I can fix up. Um, there's no name on the bottom or anything, but she is just so cute. So... I'm kind of thinking, so I have a Dumbo and I have a Bambi, and I'm kind of thinking I might keep this as like a little Disney corner for me. Nate, you're just going to need some espresso to watch Beth's sale. 
I know it's a skunk and look at those look at those eyes I just okay so that's the first thigh down where do I want to put my water then of course like any good haul I needed a donkey so I found yet another donkey planter this will end up in my Etsy shop I do put the donkey planters in my Etsy shop there is no maker's mark on this one it's just a really cute little planter <laughs> I'm sorry Michelle well the skunk I'm actually not sure if I'm going to sell her but most of this stuff will probably end up in the uh, January live sale so you won't have to wait long I promise okay and then I found some made in Japan bookends with mama and puppy doggies they say made in Japan they are ceramic just super cute and these I feel will go in an Etsy I don't think I put these in a live sale Beth, you're not a morning person. You don't want to get up and hang out with me at 5.30 your time for uh, my Friday morning coffee and mini hauls. And guys, about that, um, so when I had my last, uh, I was starting a new series, uh, Friday morning coffee and mini haul that I did 6.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So because we had the spike, just as I did my last one, I am going to kind of postpone that series and start over again in January when I can do more thrifting. So this way I'll just have like one Tuesday night haul for you guys each week. <laughs> Come on, Beth. Oh, that's okay, Carrie. It's just the idea of those early morning coffee ones is so that when y'all are waking up and you want to watch a quick 15-minute video or something on a Friday morning before the weekend starts... Hey, Judy, welcome. Okay. So I, I got a lot of dogs on this one. This little guy. This is another made in Japan. So like I said, this is my favorite haul I've ever had. Like the day was just epic. Like there were vendors that were just, see what's happening with our flea market is we started getting all of our northerners back down in Florida. And so they're coming down, they're opening their um, booths, they're at the flea market, and they're trying to purge inventory. They didn't get to purge. So there were booths where they were like, a dollar everything, just take it. So it was really cool. Let's see. Then, I know this one's going to be popular. This is a poodle, I think, right, guys? And this is a left-in. Trademark exclusive Japan. And by the way, both cats are literally sitting on the couch right here staring me down like, what you doing? What's all this stuff I can smell? I got the poodle. Poodle schnuda. Oh my God, Michelle. I was in Goodwill with my husband one day and I, I did that. I was like, poodle schnuda. And he was like, I said, it's Misty. Come here, Chappie. You going to say hi? Chappie's now on the counter. Grandma, he's not on the counter. Come here. Come here. Ooh. And we have cat interference. Sorry, guys. Oh, I got to put him down. This is Chappie. Say hello. Say I'm the king of mischief. I have to make an appearance so I can torment you. Okay. Oh, there's another live going on right now? Who else is live? Okay. So then I found this cute ashtray. And this one, it says Marcia of California, USA. So I don't know if that's California pottery. I just love the olive colors of it. I thought it was pretty neat. Okay, and then for all the poodle people, oh no, this one's not the poodle thing, okay. And then I got these for me, and these were just, I love these so much. Now, I'm thinking it might have had a candle, because, or something, because it's got a hole here and an opening there, and they do say Japan on the bottom. 
They're like that paper mache stuff, ceramic. So I got the, I have the little boy. And then there's the little girl, but she's been decapitated and her head's put back on. But I'm going to keep her for my Christmas collection because I thought she was really cute. Oh, the Two Binches Sisters. I thought their live sale was at one Eastern. Oops, my bad. I didn't realize that. Well, if you all want to hop over to the live sale, I get that. You can always come back and watch the haul later. I mean, I get that. Yeah, Mom, I think it's a choir boy and girl. Okay, so here is the other Puda, Puda Schnuda. Oh, Pacific Time. See, i got to learn this stuff. Check this out, guys, if I don't break it. It's a poodle cream and sugar sex. And it is a Nesco. So I got that. And this is the creamer that goes with it. Excellent condition. And then, so many choices, so many choices. I picked up this cute, this is a clothespin bag. I thought that was really cute, the little kids on it. So that'll end up in my January live sale, I'm sure. Oh my God, Michelle, that's hysterical. A cop just stopped and tapped on her window because someone reported her talking to herself in the car. Thank you, Diana. Yeah, guys, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. I appreciate it. Okay. So then I found this guy, and I don't know. I know I've seen this in one of my pottery books. I know I have... It's a teal, like, little wall pocket planter, no markings. But he was not alone. He had a little yellow friend. So I got both of them. Leave it to Michelle to get in trouble sitting in a parking lot. Love you, girl. <laughs> All right, Christy, see you in a bit. Oh, gosh. And then I just picked up, I like vintage frames, so I found this gold vintage frame. What in the world? I got that. And then I picked up these. I was really, ooh, really excited to find these. I forget. They're Dart Industry. And I have sold these before. The ones I had, I think they were called uh, Goddesses and Cupids or something like that. And they had a little bit of different ornateness. And they weren't as in as good condition. Like um, the ones I had, it had some marks on it. But they still sold pretty quick. So these will be an Etsy thing. Katie, I didn't say hi. Hi, Katie. Did I miss you coming on? Thank you, Judy. Oh, man, Michelle, you had to say nachos. John, John can't cook dinner until I'm done doing this live. <laughs> so I got these, and the back has the um, MCML on it, Dart Industries. So those will go up in my Etsy for sure because... Those always sell quickly for me. Yeah, those those are cool ones. And Michelle, you know the birds you got for me? I found another set of those, those wall birds. Thank you, Mom. Okay. Then I scored this really cool piece. That does, it just says MJC on the bottom. And very, very faint, there's like a copyright. And it looks like it's 70, 78 or by... RG something like you can't even read it like I don't think you guys will be able to see it's over here and the only thing I didn't notice 
because it's got this beautiful drip glaze. So I thought this would be cool as like for uh, makeup brushes or you can put multiple air plants in it. But um, the thing I didn't notice till I got home because of the drip glaze was that there were two dings on the back of it. Up, up here there are two chips. But you almost don't see them because of the white glaze. So I thought that was a pretty cool find. I knew you'd like the colors, Mom. It's got your reds in there. So put that. And then I found me a little Santa. I don't know, is this a Holt Howard, guys? I can't make out. He has a silver tag on the bottom. It is a single shaker. It might be Napco. I think it's a Napco piece, actually. But I just thought he'd be really cute in a vignette for me this year. Yeah, that's so why I thought you could have, like, different layers of greenery draping in that. So I got him. And then I just picked up this little guy, which I think might be a Royal Copley. I think it may belong to something. Bye, Nate. See you later. Is Steph's thing at 8? So I thought this would be a cute little air planter. So I picked, of course, you know, I love to pick those up. And then this little guy has seen some love. It's almost like someone poured cement in him. I scrubbed the heck out of him trying to get that, like, or, like, someone had heavy-duty glue. But I'm, I mean, like... The airbrushing, the face, I can't even. It is still so adorable. And it has to be like a napco or something because of the numbering on the bottom. So I thought, I just, I love that one so much. And I think the guy only charged me like a dollar for it. So that was really cool. Yeah, the only thing is that some of it is like, it's on the top corner. You guys see that? See, like it's spilled over a little. I think, you know, if someone has some draping greens, that that's, someone's still going to love that. It's in excellent condition. So then I got some more smalls. I just picked up this little cute footed trinket dish. I figured if someone wanted to put some, uh, like, fabric in it for a pin cushion or just a little jewelry tray, it's got some cute oranges on it. It did say made in Japan on the bottom, I think. I can't read it now. But I just thought that was really cute. Some of the littles. Then I got this little bisque, this guy. I don't know if this is like a little bulldog or a terrier. And then this, I'm probably going to end up keeping this little girl. Little airbrush kitty. I love, the, I love the airbrush figurines. So I picked that up. So lots of little smalls and fun. I know I've seen someone have this before. It's a cow canister. With the, the roosters on it. Made in Japan. I think I might have seen Dee have one of these. With the cow and the rooster. Boston Terrier. Okay, yeah. I just don't know. I need to get a dog book. Or I need to ask Dottie Lynn. Dottie Lynn always knows all that stuff. And then, then I went and found me some Royal Copley. Some Royal Copley. Now, the only thing about this guy is on the inside right there. He's got a chip out of him. But it's kind of on the inside. He's heavy, but the coloring's just beautiful. So it was kind of really a day of planters and animal figurines. And I just, like, stocked up. I had so much fun. Yeah, that duck. And I almost put the duck back because of... The chunk issue here but then I figured even with that the chunk itself is really old and it's almost like a cement let's see if I can 
Like, I think it's still okay, because there's no damage on the front or anything. And he's he's a bit he's a bit hefty. He's been you know diving into the stuff. Then I found these Japan guys, which I am keeping for me. Sorry. Ooh, I almost just lost them. Reflexes. They're little candle holders. And this one went to the Bahamas and got a really good tan. And this one didn't go. So they're gonna be in. I'm going to be doing the um Beth and Michelle, you have to help me remember her name because it won't come to me right now. I'm doing the, the Thrifted Christmas Challenge. And I can't remember who's doing it right now. So you'll have to put that down there. But yeah, I thought, so these will be, make a second appearance in that video. Which I believe will air next week. <laughs> the pale one, Steve. Aaron, thank you. Aaron from the Collected, Collected Vintage. Aaron and Carol, yep. I'm doing their Christmas challenge. So that's almost one box done, guys. What, where are we at? 520? And then I can't keep brass wall pockets in my Etsy shop. So I found these guys. And these are going to go in my Etsy shop because they sell like hotcakes. Perfect for, you know, putting some greenery in. This one is aged more. And this one has more of the gold, like, I guess, copper patina. Thank you, Beth. So it's Aaron with the Collection Vintage and Carol with the Blessed Nest are hosting a Christmas thrifted challenge where basically you show a haul of items you've thrifted, thrifted, thrifted oh man, to use in your Christmas decor this year. And it needs to air next week. I think it airs on Monday. But uh, you can go to either of their channels in their community tabs. They have information on it. So that's the first box down, guys, and there's not a ton in the second one. But again, I'm bringing you the poodles. Not one, but two Avon poodles. Hey, Vintage Crazed, welcome. I saw you in Michelle's cell today. Welcome. The 23rd at 7. Thank you, Beth. See, Beth's still on the ball. Oh, Katie's got it too. Thank you. Katie, are you participating also? So we got some Avon bubble bath. And then this one's for when Kim and Christina postcards patina are watching later. I found this really cute vintage box. It's got great like um, decals on it. And the bottom it is made in Italy. If I can get that to show up. So that, it's just a really pretty vintage. Awesome, Katie. I can't wait to see what you got for your vintage decor. That'll be fun. Yeah, I think um, I'll probably have a video coming out Sunday of to show you guys my thrifted Thanksgiving decor. And then I'll be participating in that Christmas, thrifted Christmas on Tuesday. And that's all I'll have for next week. Okay. And then... I forget what this is called, but when they have the silver, I found this, and then I also found a little creamer, and I love these. These will end up in my Etsy. Welcome, Sarah. I appreciate you hopping on. So, guys, remember, if you like the video so far, if you like the live hauls, don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed. I'm trying to get to my 1,000. I am at 790, closing in. I'm very excited. Inlay. Thank you, Michelle. So this is like the silver inlay. Okay. And then we have our swan offering for the night. And on the bottom, this one said Canada. This is a Canada swan. But there's no chips, crazing issues, beautiful green glaze. Just look at that. I love the drip glaze. Got that. And then we got a little car planter. Just a little guy. Thought that was cute. I'm a sucker for the pastels. I have like 
three shelves of planters in my my little mini warehouse. I've got to start listing some of these. And then fairy light, light, amber fairy light. It does have a little bit of chipping on the top lip, but you can't see it. I have one in my Etsy shop right now. I'm going to um, add this one so that I have a quantity of two, and this will go in my Etsy shop. I know, Katie. I love finding planters, and I hope they stay the rage because they are so much fun. I love finding all the different planters. And then, because you all know I'm a thermos nut, I found a thermos. It's beautiful orange and white stripes. I don't know if I'm going to sell it yet or keep it for my fall decor because I like to have one or two thermoses in my fall decor, so I have to look this one up, look this one up first. You did, Beth. You won the one at Michelle's. Yeah. So I got that. And then, guys, now this does have some hairlines on it. I'm going to show you the bottom. Hole USA. I found a hole basket, guys. A butterfly hole basket. And so there is like a little hairline by this butterfly. And then on the other side, there's a little hairline here. They're just kind of aged on the inside. Hey, Craft Jackie, welcome. Welcome, welcome. So this, I think, was my favorite find because I've never seen one of these in the wild. And I just love all the colors. And it's beautiful for spring. And like I said, it does have, it has one. And this one may actually, I think someone's done some repair work on the front because it does go through. But... I couldn't leave it. So I got that. And let's see what else I got. Now we're kind of getting away from the planters. So I got the dogs, I got the ducks, I got the planters. And now we're getting into the ephemera. So the first thing I picked up was this collection of saver books. I have to figure out what exactly these are. And it's just great for ephemera. So these are like top value stamps. And then it has all the stamps. That, Jackie, I just got a notification that you had a gigantic Goodwill haul. And it just went live on your channel. So you guys, Crafty Jackie also has a channel. And I think Katie wasn't on yet. So guys, if you have um, a YouTube channel, anything you want to share in the comments, please feel free. Any upcoming live sales? I'm more than happy to let you guys talk about that in there. Green, yeah, green back stamps. That's what they were saying. And I got this plaid one, which I thought the plaid would be cute for like Christmas backgrounds. Whoops. And then another top value with all the stamps. So I got that one. This one, this one, uh, so. The flea market has two small houses that were turned into little stores, and one's a thrift store, and one's like an antique thrift store that has vendors, and the vendor, I think, is leaving in this one, so they had like a big sale going on. So I got two bags of that, the stamp books. And then I thought this was really cute, the cooking kit. And this one I might actually keep for me for a little bit because it's just really neat. I love the, okay, like, how to easily make a hamburger casserole. And I'm all about the pictures. How to cook macaroni. I mean, very simple. Let's see the copyright on this. The Junior League of Spartanburg, Spartanburg, South Carolina. Carolina Princess, it's... South Carolina book belonged to Hollis Perrin and it's from 1977. It has things you need in the kitchen, 
words to help you cook. I just, I really like this. And I kind of think I need this to help me. Thank you, Jackie. Yeah, I, um, this was probably the best haul I've had of the year. I went, um, through, I went to the flea market with Lori blue flamingo mercantile on Halloween. We dressed up and went to the flea market together. And this is everything I got. Oh, your parents live near Spartanburg. That's cool, Vintage Craze. And it's sour, right? That's cool. Oh, look how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, tomato soup, chuck roast, ham. I might keep this for a while just for the basics. That's pretty darn cute. I'm gonna, I'll am gonna. i get like one of those little fancy stands and put it up on top of my counter or something. And then I got this I'm going to be selling in my Etsy. Steps to good English text and workbook for the eighth grade. It's got some great just ephemera in it. I'm always looking for awesome ephemera. And this is, let's see, this one is copyright 1935. So mom, dad, you weren't around yet when this came out. For those of you who don't know, Edith Pope on here in the live chat is my mom and dad watching. And that one's a little musty. And then Oh my gosh, guys, I found a ledger. And I would say I was going to keep it for me, but I know I'll never end up using it. Now, it has not been, someone took out any of the written pages, but look at this for a junk journal. This beautiful single entry ledger. It's just, I love this. The books are a little dusty. And then I have three more art pieces for you guys, and I'm gonna let you run away to all the live sales tonight. So remember, if you've not hit that thumbs up button, please go ahead and do so. I love comments at the end afterwards. Let me know what you liked. I try to do a haul video every Tuesday. I did say in the beginning, because we are spiking here in Florida, I'm going to just be working through what I have in my garage. So I may slow down up until January. Are you talking about S? Me? Oh, South Carolina. Yes, they're all talking about South Carolina, Jackie. So next up, I have some beautiful wood art. And it's like, almost like bamboo on wood. And I have no idea what this says. but that is where it came from. And I got this from my box lot guy I go to, and he had a whole box of stuff like this that I thought was pretty darn cool. And then, of course, because you guys know I love my kitty cats, I got this one. And it's got the same sort of thing on the back. I can't understand. I don't know what country it's from, but it's all inlaid. And I'm getting flakes of it in my water. Dust and everything else in my water. Oh, yeah. Sarah, if you didn't know, I'm a cat mom. I have two rescue tuxedo cats, Holly and Chappie. They're black and white. Chappie made an appearance earlier and helped me move the camera around. So I love my kitty cats. And then the last two things I found are considered like Mexican string art. So this is all yarn on board. And it also has a little matching coaster. And that was my epic haul, guys. So I think my favorite finds are the ones I'm keeping these two little guys. I love these. And let's see what else was my favorite. I think I'm about to say the skunk was my second favorite. So I really appreciate you guys coming and hanging out with me. It's always fun. I look forward to these on Tuesday nights. Uh, remember, if you liked the video, hit the thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. I try to do one video a week for you guys. I'm always on Instagram at Side Street Market. I do little sneak peeks of what's going on in my life. Starting in January, I have a new series, Friday Morning Coffee with me in mini halls. 
I start my day job at 7 a.m. So between 6 and 7, I try to like have some coffee in the morning with you guys and do a mini haul. So if you like those sort of things, I'll be doing those videos. I'm closing my vintage booths end of December. So I'm hoping I'll have more time for DIY videos next year. So everyone have a safe, have a happy Thanksgiving. You all are my extended family. So I'm thankful for you all. And I will see you guys uh, in December. Have a great evening, everyone. Stay safe. See you then.